Disturbing, disgusting, wrong. Those are just some of the words being used to describe this scene at St. Patrick's Cemetery in Oneida. Good evening, everyone. I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Many people are now demanding an apology from St. Patrick's after they say their memorials were ripped off their loved ones' graves without any notice and just dumped in a pile. News Channel 9's Ashley Kafaro takes us to the grounds where people say they were shot. A Canastota mom left heartbroken. If he had been... If the man responsible had notified us, we all would have came and got our belongings. Instead, the flower pot Ashley Palmer hand painted for her four month old son was found broken after she says it was ripped off his grave and dumped here at St. Patrick's Cemetery in Oneida. It just said that mommy blows you a kiss every night and that he was my um, toughest littlest peanut. Palmer lost her son eight years ago after he was born with half a heart, placing the flower pot there since his passing. It was always out of the way. There was never any issue with it. it I had flowers in it every year. Apparently this year it was a problem. The cemetery's association president says they've never allowed artificial objects and decided it was time to strictly enforce cemetery rules. We decided to put a notice in the church bulletins uh, beginning on March 10th and it appeared there every week um, or uh, up until this past week it was it was in there. People outside of the church and people who don't go to church, we we don't we weren't informed. So just coming up here is very surprising to see everybody's stuff just basically thrown to the trash. And many people are still wondering why only some graves were affected while others were left untouched. I just want an apology from Jim. I want him to own that what he did was immoral and unethical and it should not have happened in this way. As far as I'm concerned, the cemetery has nothing to apologize for. Cron says he sympathizes with those concerned, but has to keep the cemetery looking respectful. In Oneida, Ashley Gaffaro, News Channel 9.